It's Thanksgiving time! Did I ever tell y'all that I do not like Thanksgiving at all? Like, I do not like Thanksgiving, but I like to eat. So gobble, gobble to all those who celebrate. But, you know, Thanksgiving is one of those times that my favorite part is just the fact that my whole family comes gets to get together because I do not like the food. I hate turkey. Turkey is nasty, okay? The only thing I like is ham. And then because we're Nigerian, we also do American food and then we do Nigerian food. But like some of the aunties don't really know how to make their American food. And so they just just stick with the Nigerian food. And so it's just all it's always it's a cluster. So this Thanksgiving, I took matters into my own hands because I realized this isn't just about me. It's now about my children. Like they got to start enjoying this holiday. So I secretly called my favorite Caribbean restaurant. Shout out to Island Cuisine. And I ordered a jerk turkey. I ordered mashed potatoes. No, I didn't. I ordered mac and cheese. I ordered yams and I ordered cabbage because I'm gonna eat this year. I'm not not going to eat this year. It has been three years in a row that we haven't eaten. and. I can no longer do that because I deserve to eat. And every Thanksgiving, our tradition is we go to my mom's house. So I come with my family, Eddie, the kids. My sister comes with her family, her husband and the kids. And my brother, who's in college, he comes home. And we're all together. We usually spend the night on Thanksgiving night. And then the next day we all have breakfast together. But every year, like, I look forward to Thanksgiving, but then my mom, who is like a people's person, always invites everybody. And like, I want to be at Thanksgiving dinner with no shoes on, like unbutton the top button of my pants. Like, I want to enjoy Thanksgiving. But my mom always wants to invite people and guests, and it's like, I can't eat the chicken bone the way I want to if we have guests. I can't do the things I want to if we have guests. So Thanksgiving is just filled with mixed reactions for me. If it was left up to me, let's fast forward to Christmas. But Thanksgiving is here, so we gotta do what we gotta do. I remember when me and Eddie were dating and we would spend Thanksgiving with, he was spending with his family, I was spending with mine. And then he will call me around like six o'clock, seven, and be like, what you doing? And I'm like, nothing. And this was, you know, we were still crushing on each other. And we will always go to a movie. So that's something that we have done is like go to the movies and it has been so good. Another thing I like to do on Thanksgiving is drink. Let me tell you something. In my older age, I have loved appetizers. Like, I don't need a meal. Just appetize me and give me a good alcoholic beverage, okay? I don't need a whole this, 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 this. First of all, cranberry is nasty. I just need us to say that out loud. Cranberry is nasty, and why is cranberry part Thanksgiving? Why? Why? I don't know. But I just need a good little mixed drink, a nice little appetizer, and I'm fine. So y'all pray for me this Thanksgiving, and I'll be praying for y'all. I would love to hear some of your family traditions. Like, what do you guys do on Thanksgiving? I would love for us to film an episode of Royal Housewives of Potomac during Thanksgiving. Like, that's one thing I would show while I've been on. Have we done Thanksgiving? Have we filmed? I don't know, but I want to see like a Thanksgiving episode and I want to see how all of us spend time with our families and what we do on Thanksgiving because I think that would be interesting. Or a Royal, House, or a Royal Housewives Thanksgiving edition. Or you know what I would like to do? I think it would be cute 
if we did like a Thanksgiving episode and we each picked our favorite dish and we cooked it? Like a potluck, like a Thanksgiving potluck. And I want to see what everybody cooks. I feel like that's one thing that I always do that a lot of people on my cast, we really don't talk about. Like I'm the cooker, like I'm always cooking. Like before a cast trip, all of my cast members usually make fun of me because they know I'm in the kitchen preparing meals for days. Like I am a cooker. Like I, I just bought a brand new deep fryer because I was tired of frying fish and the oil will pop on my hands. So my new deep fryer, you literally just drop the fish in there and you close it and it fries itself. But I've been frying fish the old way. And my children love like all types of food. And they're like me, I get tired of food quickly. So like, I only eat leftovers for two days. Like after two days, you could throw the leftovers away. I'm, I, I can only, two, yeah, mm-hmm. After two days, like, I'm good off of that. And then I love the holidays and I have people who come and do tree trimming for my household and they transform our house into a winter wonderland. See, that's what I love about Christmas. You know why Christmas is my favorite holiday? It's not even about the gifts. I feel like Christmas is the only holiday that is an emotion, that is a feeling. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like when you hear Christmas music, when you see Christmas lights, when you see like wrapping paper, it makes you feel a certain type of way. I don't feel no way for Thanksgiving. Like, no way. <laughs> like, no joy. Like, nothing. Like, I don't even know why I'm wearing. But again, why should I have to care about what I'm wearing? Because my mom wants to invite everybody to the house. So I can't wait to hear what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving, what your Thanksgiving traditions are. If you like Thanksgiving or am I in the minority, am I a weirdo because I'm just not for it? And I'll let y'all know how my jerk t uh, turkey turns out because this is my first time ever having jerk turkey. So I hope it's moist. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I hate turkey. But what I hate more than turkey is a dry turkey. That's like, that's like living in purgatory. Like, it's the worst thing ever. So that's all I got for y'all. Gobble, gobble. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your food. Enjoy the plate. Send me your Thanksgiving outfits, because I don't have any. And yeah, that's all I got. This week, even though Thanksgiving is not my favorite. What I'm really, really excited for is that my husband and I are participating in feeding individuals in Baltimore City. And we're really happy about that, so much so that we're going to take our children. Because sometimes, especially with the younger generation, they see all of the things that you as parents have given to them, but they don't realize that there's individuals in this world who may not be as fortunate as they are. So our whole family is making a thing. We're going down to Baltimore City and we are going to be feeding some people. I'm really excited for that because as much as I do not like Thanksgiving, I think moments like that and experiences like that is what crystallizes what the holiday is really about. The ability to give thanks, the ability to be thankful that either you're able to give to others or that you're able to receive from others. And I think once we put it in that context, I love Thanksgiving. See, it ain't, it ain't about the dry turkey. It's about the meaning behind the holiday. And the true meaning is being thankful for not just what you have, but who you have in your life. And to all those out there who are watching this, this holiday season, if you feel alone or if you're by yourself, just know you have me. I know you have someone out there that, you know, sees you and is thinking about you. 
So I wish you all a happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving and send you lots of joy, lots of blessings, and lots of happiness. Gobble, gobble.